It's Gannon here again to show you some new fun things. Let's see what we've got today. Today we have the scuba sequencer. The scuba sequencer is a uh, eight-step analog sequencer. Right now it's plugged into the Atari Space Cavern synth. So because it's plugged into the Atari Space Cavern synth, we don't really get uh, all the fun things that it can do. But basically what we got here is we have the rate uh, on the front of the brain is what I call this. I call it the scuba sequencer because it kind of looks like a little diving bell. You get what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, so this thing uh, controls the rate over here. This is the control panel where we can set our, our pitches. And because it's the Atari synth, the pitch is a little bit strange. It's like we're using alien scales here. Um, but at the same time, it's pretty interesting, you know? And it's got uh, skip steps on the top, which, because we're on the uh, Atari, the skip steps don't really work because there's no gate in, so we don't have a way of turning it on and off. So it plays the bass note, which is kind of cool if you do it in sequence. Stuff like that, you know what I mean? Um, it's also a good way to change the sequence up. We also have uh, a way to do a different size sequence. We use the ninth switch, which is uh, a way for me to cap the sequencer at eight steps. So we're going to turn on the ninth switch. And now we've got ourselves a uh, four step sequencer. And then once we have a cool loop, you know, we can start doing other things. This has two control voltages out. Um, and uh, we can plug the other control voltage into the second input of the space cavern. But we've also got, uh, don't forget, the, the demon attack LFO. So we can run the LFO into the second input of the space cavern synth. Hit it with a little, little reverb. And then the magic. This guy. Alright, I'm gonna turn off the LFO, it's a little crazy. Alright, we got some weird stuff going now. Let's switch it back from the, uh, the four step to the eight step. Oh yeah! Oh, spooky. Another cool thing you can do, 
voltage, you can stick uh, the other second control voltage out from the sequencer into the Atari synth. And you start to get some really weird sounds. So there you go, the SCUBA sequencer, another new addition to the arsenal.